Hi, welcome to another video. This time I'm going to look at uh, dealing with panels in Circuit Studio. So Circuit Studio doesn't really have any features to help you with this out of the box. It, um, it doesn't contain the embedded array feature that Outium Designer does in any of the buttons, in any of the toolbars or shortcuts. Um, so what can you do? Well, I guess there may be some way to copy and paste uh, a complete PCB onto a panel. Um, but I haven't been able to get it to work because what ends up happening is you lose all your net names and so things like these polygon pores end up all unpoured and, and it simply doesn't work from there. I guess I've seen on forums where people have, uh, have then added like duplicate sets of schematics to, uh, to say the, the panel PCB and then, so then when you copy and paste across you've, you've got um, multiple layouts um, from those schematics with, with all the net names and the component names and whatnot. It sounds like a complete mess to me. Fortunately there is a simple way around this. What you need to do is go find yourself a friend with a full copy of Outium Designer and get them just to create a new board, drop a uh, embedded array on it, save it and give that to you. So I've done that earlier and here we've just got a new project which I'm going to go File, Import. This is the, uh, this is the files that I saved out of Outium Designer. So that's, that's worked fine. Now, if you just save this, and save this, this template project, it's not really a template project, it's a project just with a an embedded array in it but it's more of a tool just save that somewhere so you've got it for reference later because um, it only needs to be done once then you can just copy this guy and paste it into your panel and then it works just exactly the same as an embedded array in Outium Designer you can double click on it set your reference which in this case that's this board Number of columns, number of rows, just do two, two. And there we have it. And so obviously this, I'm not going to go into how you actually set up a panel. There's other videos online that are quite comprehensive about this. Or, or generally speaking, if you're going to be doing this, you're going to be you're going to know what you're doing or you're going to have a reason for why you're doing it anyway rather than just letting your PCB manufacturer do it for you um, because it's generally not a good idea because I mean if un unless you're doing something specific they've they already know what uh, what tooling what assembly um, stuff they need on their board and all that sort of stuff so it's, it's just for when you're doing something quite specific but that's that's kind of it now you've got uh, You've now got that feature within Circuit Studio and it, it works in exactly the same way. Cool. Hopefully you found that useful. Thanks.